Gamer! Prepare for an exciting new video where we tackle the ultimate challenge, fixing lag in Red Dead Redemption 2 and running it smoothly on your low-end PC. I'll share my personal experience of how this game transformed from a sluggish 10 FPS nightmare to a buttery smooth adventure. Stay tuned for the step-by-step -step process and don't miss out on part 2, just 100 likes away. Let's dive right in the process and get started without wasting any time. Alright, folks, let's get started with step 1. We'll optimize the in-game settings to boost our FPS. Open the game, click on Settings, and head to the Graphics section. Follow my lead, change the resolution to 1280 x 720, and set the screen type to full screen. Now, adjust all the settings to the lowest possible and disable any unnecessary effects. Scroll down to the advanced settings and set them to unlocked. Again, lower all the settings and turn off additional effects. Once you're done, apply the changes. Voila! Play the game now, and you'll notice a significant improvement. My PC's FPS increased to over 20, delivering smooth gameplay. We're off to a good start. Let's move on to our next step. Alright, it's time for step 2, where we'll tweak the game's config file. To find it, go to Documents. Rockstar Games, Red Dead Redemption 2, Settings, open the system file with Notepad. Now, pay close attention and follow my lead. Change all the settings to low if they're not already set that way. Don't worry if you don't know what to do, just watch and do as I do. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn. I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility, convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours it takes to get some power. Don't be fucking sour, take a cold shower, scream until you're louder, work until you're prouder, and fuck all the doubters, they're just fucking downers. I swear to God they all let me down, I always fought just a when you reach advanced graphics, switch the resolution from 1280 by 720 to 800 by 600. Save the file and make sure to set it as read only. Before launching the game, open your display settings and set the resolution to 800 by 600. Now, open the game and it will run at a lower resolution with the lowest settings. This is how my game performed after this step. I experienced around 30 FPS and the gameplay was super smooth. If your lag persists, don't worry, I've got more tips to share. And if you're still with me, hitting that like button means the world to me. Alright, folks, for our final step, we'll take graphics quality even lower to gain more FPS. Follow me closely, open the config file and make sure to untick read only. Scroll down until you find the LOD bias section. Copy the text exactly as I show you in the video. Save the file and set it as read only again. Now, play the game. This is how it looks after the edit, the lowest playable settings, but it'll give you better performance. If you want more quality, go back to the config file and adjust LOD bias, grass LOD, and pet LOD bias as I demonstrate. Save the file, set it to read only, and check how the game looks and runs on my PC. It reached a smooth 40 FPS. But if you desire slightly better quality, once again, go to the config file, copy my values as shown, save the file, and set it to read only. Finally, this is how the game looks and works on my PC. Here's a comparison of all three modes. Try them all and see which one suits your PC best. Hey there, if you've made it this far, I've got a bonus tip for you. The better your PC is optimized, the more FPS you'll enjoy in your games. Check out this quick video for some optimization tricks, click here or find the link in the description. We've reached the end of the video, and I hope it helped you fix your lag and boost your FPS. If you want to see part 2, 
just hit that magical 100 likes. Stay tuned for more exciting content. See you in the next video. Goodbye.